Hi, this is uh, a presentation that will teach you how to make simple AJAX calls from AJSP. Uh, AJAX is a technology that allows you to populate uh, separate parts of a web page dynamically so the user need not refresh the entire page, need not wait for an entire page to load. You could actually populate uh, small portions and in this example we are going to see how a particular select box is populated. In order for you to understand this presentation, you should know some basic HTML, some JavaScript and a bit of JSP. In fact, JSP knowledge is not all that much required. A bit of Java knowledge might be required when we go into the server pieces, but it's pretty fundamental. Let's start with the web page itself. The web page is a fundamental web page where you have some text and a select box. Click the select box and it comes back and repopulates itself with a couple of states. Now, what is going on behind the scenes is as follows. There is a index.jsp, which actually is plain HTML. All we have in this HTML is a couple of JavaScript library inclusions. And the first one happens to be Prototype, which is an open source JavaScript library. Prototype is a great library that allows you to manipulate individual HTML DOM elements and also issue AJAX requests and pass the responses. What we have here is a div ID for state and this is the element that we are going to manipulate using prototype. And we have a select box which if you click runs the populate state method. Now this populate state method is actually defined in ajax.js which I wrote. So if you open up ajax.js which is in the same directory, populate state JavaScript method simply runs populate state simple method. Now populate state simple method has a hard-coded select option values nj, option values ny. So basically we are doing hard-coded selection and this is where prototype comes into the picture. So it basically operates on HTML elements using this dollar syntax. So all I am doing is I'm hiding the state dummy uh, DOM variable and populating the state DOM variable with the HTML content and then showing it. Okay. So this is what is running when I do this. So I'm going to refresh the page again. And when I click this, automatically it comes back and populates this. Now I'm going to see show you how Ajax operates. I'm going to change this and say populate state by Ajax. Save this. Now come back here, refresh this page and click here. Immediately it comes back and populates three other states. Now this happens when this function is run and this function actually runs a JSP called populate state dot JSP, which populate which actually has a hard coded value once again, but this is now inside a JSP. JSPs, if you know, run on the server. So this is an AJAX call that basically gets the information from here and gets it back into the HTML. So this is the line that does that. And then we do the usual hide and show. Okay, so that's a simple AJAX call that gets this stuff. Now, this also doesn't tell you how you could pretty much use a database call to populate some parts of your web page and that is what I'm going to show with my next call. So I'm going to say populate state by Ajax from database. Okay, so that will run this and I'm going to refresh my page once again and if I click here I see three other states Arizona, California and Minnesota and this actually comes from my my SQL where I'm going to open up my window okay Arizona California Minnesota so that happens this way so I'm saying populate state from db.jsp is called and this guy actually calls a DAO, a method in the DAO called get state list as XML. And this actually works this way. So 
right here we have the state dao.java which actually sits in a particular package called com stock app hibernate and this guy actually declares a string buffer and gets the states and gets the states is basically done this way get states starts a hibernate transaction gets a session declares a criteria with a particular class gets the list and this is where you formulate it as XML. Now Hibernate has its own individual pieces which we'll quickly go into. One piece is the states.hpm.xml which is the mapping XML. This basically maps your table to your bean and the other piece is the bean itself which basically has getters and setters and finally the Hibernate configuration XML which actually has all your MySQL connection parameters and then this is where I define that this particular XML is to be used in the Hibernate call. All right, that pretty much concludes how we use Ajax to populate part of a web page. So just to recap, let's go back to our Ajax.js and all I did was call the state DB from JSP and then get the response back and show it out on the web page. Cool. If you need more information or file downloads, go to this website and click on the Ajax link. Thank you.